Electronic cigarettes bursted onto the scene a few years ago and it has now grown into a billion dollar industry. This new trend in today's society is spreading like wildfire and it doesn't look like it is going to be slowing down anytime soon. In today's society, people from all backgrounds and ages use electronic cigarettes. The old, the young, and yes, that includes teenagers. The percentage of high school students who have used an electronic cigarette rose from 4.7% in 2011 to 10% in 2012 to 16.2% of high school sophomores and 17.1% of high school seniors in the year 2014. But why? What has been the cause of this rapid growth of teenage users? You know, I love being single, but here's what I don't love, a kiss that tastes like an ashtray. Blech. I'm Jenny McCarthy, and I finally found a smarter alternative, smarter alternative, smarter alternative to cigarettes. Marketers use commercials such as this to skew the public's perception of electronic cigarettes. Smarter alternative? Well, let's see. Most people believe that users of e-cigarettes are inhaling water vapor. However, they are actually consuming vaporized nicotine, a toxic liquid that acts as a stimulant in small doses. However, in larger amounts, nicotine blocks the action of autonomic nerve and skeletal muscle cells. Nicotine is currently the chief substitute for tobacco. Nicotine is so effective that current smokers of tobacco-based cigarettes are actually advised to switch to e-cigarettes in an attempt to stop smoking. However, those who smoke electronic cigarettes for pure recreational purposes can become addicted to the nicotine inside of the electronic cigarettes. Other side effects of liquid nicotine are Impaired brain development, heartburn, headaches, sweating, diarrhea, just to name a few. In addition to nicotine, researchers have discovered that taking 10 puffs from an e-cigarette would expose the user to about 2.5 times more formaldehyde, a probable carcinogen, as he or she would get from smoking a single tobacco cigarette. 